All right, today is going to be a 24-hour update after the little rain that we had yesterday. And of course, it's a little windy again, so if it gets too loud, I'll try to mute that out. All right, let's go take a look. Yeah, there's some in there. I guess it's more or less like 12 hours after the rain, but I guess that's not bad. They're getting in the trap still. They are still on the tree. I do see a peach there. It's got a bunch of beetles on it. Got one there. Another one. Yep, I'm gonna need more bait. Hope it shows up on the mail today. All right, we'll go check the other trap. Yeah, there's a few in there. Not as many as I'd like. All right, so it does look like the Japanese beetle bait and DIY traps are working. However, there's just so many beetles, I think I need more bait and more traps. So the wife did order some more and it should be here any time now. I guess I'll just make a few more traps and use the bait in those. Hopefully I can catch more beetles that way. I think there's one crawling up my leg right now. All right, so I guess I'll just keep doing the updates to let everybody know what is working and what's not working. I did read a comment in one of the last videos. Somebody said you can just use a can of like cocktail fruit or probably any can actually now that I think about it. Any can of uh, fruit, set that out there and that should attract them to that as well. I may end up trying that and I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, we'll see you on the next one. All right, what's up YouTube? This is gonna be a 36 hour update and I was out here last night after work with a broom, you know, brushing off all the Japanese beetles that I could. There wasn't a whole bunch in the traps, but it was everything was still wet after the rain and whatnot. So when I woke up this morning, my buckets, well, one bucket was knocked over and the trap in the other one is kind of knocked into the bucket. So I'm thinking it might've been a raccoon or something. So we'll reset those real quick. And I did get one new trap from Amazon that showed up today, so we'll throw that out there too. But we'll go take a look real quick. All right, so when I woke up today, this uh, trap was set just like that. They are still going to the trap though. There's a whole bunch on the ground right there. They are still on the tree, of course.
and the trap by the apple trees. That's what this trap looked like. So I'll reset them and then put a new bait in the one by the peach tree. Alright, so this one I'm just going to pull it out of here. That's all it is. I probably shouldn't have cut it in half, but that's alright. I'm going to throw this one in the one by the apple trees, and then I'm going to pull that one. And this brand new one I'm going to put by the peach tree since that one seems to be having the bigger problem. This is what it looks like right here. Okay, so it says remove top film completely. And you just peel off the corner here. Kind of like that. I'm going to shove this whole thing inside of the plastic deal. There's also a sticky tape here on the back. I'm going to give it a try as well. Hopefully it sticks. If not, that's okay. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do for this one. Hopefully it'll stick to the plastic for a long period of time. If not, uh, at least it'll fall inside of here. And you can smell it really good. So we'll take this over and we'll see what happens. Okay, so this one's all set. I'll go grab the other half so I can put it in the other trap. Okay, so I have both halves kind of stuck to the side of this one. Hopefully they'll stay there. You know what I might do is scoot this closer and start knocking off some of the beetles that are stuck on the peaches. So when they fall, maybe they'll smell this and go here instead.
All right, so I got the new trap sitting out there by the tree. I shook the hell out of the tree in a whole bunch of different places, and I guess we'll see what happens. Hope you are enjoying these videos. I hope it's helping somebody of what works and what doesn't work through my trial and errors. So if you like these videos, uh, let me know in the comment section below. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, and uh, I sh uh, more and.